Hey guys, day number 28 testimonial. I just got my shower and I put my rose water on my face and just finished my uh, pre-sleep routine. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't do my testimonial. And I was gonna, you know, take my bonnet off and everything. And I was like, they've seen me, they know what it is. <laughs> so um, day number 28, let's see what was most significant about today. Day number 28 is the end of the fourth week going into week number five, which I think is so amazing. I can't believe how quickly this is going by. Um, I said, I am starting to, you know, I have all this energy and I'm listening to my body and the timing is on point with me wanting to, um, start more fitness. So I did that today. I, I actually not just today, this week I started it, but this closes that week of me sticking with that fitness plan and those fitness goals. So um, I'm really excited about that because I pushed my way through and um, I'm going to keep trekking at it. Uh, something I do want to share that I talk with my hands a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. And normally my nails are done. I always keep my nails done, not necessarily because I talk a lot with my hands, but just because I like pretty nails. And, um, you know, I'm a businesswoman and in the beauty industry, so I'm a advocate for, you know, keeping myself up. But uh, I took my nails off completely. I usually wear like gel nails and um, I normally will wear the nails because my natural nail bed underneath, I feel like over the years, my nails will grow, um, but they were always very, not necessarily brittle. Well, yeah, I guess brittle, um, but very fragile, like paper thin. And they would grow, but then they would just start to peel and break. And it just, you know, it was frustrating. And so I would get um, overlays or acrylic or gel or some sort of extension added to my nails, just number one, to give them strength. But then also, I mean, you would find that if you flipped my nails over, they were just as long as the um, nail extensions. But again, when you take them off there, flimsy and thin and and wearing those over it didn't help the situation that only breaks it down worse so uh after this last time when i let them grow out and i decided to take them off i was like oh you know i've been looking at my nails going i need to go get my nails done but i think what i want to do in this journey of all things organic and natural and healing is to see how well my nails do without the acrylics or any sort of um extension or false um, nail bond over them. And I was looking at my nails today and the test is usually when I, you know, press down on them, they're like thin or flimsy and, and they bend and my nails aren't like super solid hard at this point, but I could tell that they are healthier than that what they normally are. Like that's just kind of um, giving to the, the, the pressing or the imprint, but they're not necessarily bending, but the test will be as, a, as they grow out because they're not super long right now. Obviously when I took the nails off, I had them cut them down, but I will tell you that I can see and feel a difference in the strength of my nails with no nail hardeners or anything like that. So I think in this journey, I am just going to see how my nails do as well. And I talk a lot with my hands, so you'll be noticing in the upcoming uh, days and weeks how that goes, and I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, which brings me to my next thought is, uh, I said I did my, I showered and I did my skincare. Obviously, as I'm on this journey and I am, you know, putting the right things in my body food-wise and being very discerning, um, about what goes in for the benefit of my health, whole being, emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, you know, you, I, I can't avoid the fact that, well, what's going on my skin? You know, my skin, our skin is the body's biggest, uh, organ that absorbs anything and everything quite easily. And uh, we are learning that in, I believe I saw in a chapter of the Be Real Resilient Guide, um, 
we start to talk about products that we, you know, things in our home that emit toxins and chemicals. And, you know, of course we ease into the beauty product side of it. And it's like, oh my gosh, but um, I'm all for the organic and the natural side of things. And one of the things that I already had implemented into, I started using rose water um, on my skin for moisture and hydrating. Those are the same things. Um, earlier this year. So, um, and I definitely can feel and see the difference. I um, suffer from eczema and it usually flares up around the colder months and um, I'm, I have a dry skin type naturally and hopefully that I'm thinking with the, the eating and being conscious, uh, conscious of what I'm doing that that may shift the I guess the pH balance or the chemical balance of my skin we might see some changes there but I definitely can feel the difference between drinking water and using the rose water that my skin is not usually my eczema flares up right around this area you probably can see it those are my dry areas but this is not bad at all this is me getting out the shower and normally i usually have to slather lotion on because i just my skin gets so dry so quick it gets tight like that tight um dry feeling and then it gets itchy and my whole body is like that so usually after i shower i have to slather on lotion and um, as I'm becoming more conscious of what's in this stuff, you know, um, I'm not putting things on my skin, but I'm also noticing that if I don't put the lotion on and I have my skin, it doesn't feel completely soft and supple and not dry, but it's not tight and it's not itchy. So that's something else I want to watch as I move forward in this program and see how this all comes into play with, uh, the Be Resilient um, beta test and just what I'm doing with that. Um, there was something else I was going to say about, oh, I was going to go into skin types. That's more like a beauty thing. Um, but I, that's the cosmetologist and the educator in me. Um, the beauty expert part of me. So, um, I knocked it out with my supplements today. Uh, tomorrow will be the beginning of day five. And that is new supplements for weeks five through eight. I picked those supplements up from the office uh, from Dr. Pete Sulak, um, creator and facilitator of this program and owner of Redeem Chiropractic. So I picked those up from the office at my last appointment and I went ahead and I did a supplements video today so you can refer to that and see what I'm taking and then there'll be links in there to how to order yours and what they're for and how to take them and things like that. But I did that. Um, it answered a question that I had because most of my week one through four supplements are gone. Pretty much, you know, maybe just like a couple of pills here and this bottle and there. And I'm like, I might have missed something somewhere or maybe they planned it in 30 days. We might still have a few more. But I, but there was one bottle that still had a good bit of pills in it. And I was like, supplements. And I was like, where did I go wrong? But as I was setting out my weeks five through eight supplements, it called for the same supplement from week one through four in that bottle that it had quite a bit less. So I was like, oh, whew, okay. So, um, but other than that, there are new supplements in this next phase. And um, the, you know, they're, they're still packaged the same and, um, I've gotten really good at my supplements. I think I talked about that earlier. If you go to like day one, I was, you know, you ever seen that movie, what's it called? Baby Mama with Amy Poehler and, um, oh gosh, what is her name? Anyway, it's hilarious. There's this scene where Amy's trying to get down a pill and it's just it's awful and that was me uh at the beginning of this journey but now i'm just throwing them back like a boss i have this silly little technique that helps me get them down and what i do is normally i'll put the pills in my mouth first and struggle to try to swallow them and they're just hanging at the back of my throat and it's messing with that whole gag reflex and everything and it's just a hot mess the other day I was not paying attention and I drank water first and then I kind of just slid the pill in my mouth and then I swallowed. 
and it was so easy. So it's like, oh, okay. So it's like reverse psychology on myself. Instead of throwing the pill and then adding water, add water first, throw the pill, and then you don't even feel it when you're swallowing it and it's going down. So um, another tip is it, they go down easier when I have a smoothie, when it's something thick. I think the ones that I really just struggle through are the morning because it's the first thing hitting an empty my empty stomach and it just it feels weird and um it just kind of almost makes me a slightly nauseous just for a quick second so anyway i am like getting those down like a boss now and um yeah that's about it i'm going to uh you know get up in the morning and get my fitness i i find that i like working out in the morning i was trying to do it at night because i figured you know, I can work out at night, I can get a shower and I can rest because I'll be tired. But a lot of times I'm not getting it done at night because I'm tired and I just bypass the workout. Um, so I found that in the mornings, uh, that works really well for me. So I'll just get up early enough to do my devotional, my time with Jesus and um, my hot ginger tea. And then I'll ease into my workout take a shower, and then get my day started. So this is a game of figuring out what's going to work for me in the long run as well. So that's all I have. The end of day number 28 testimonial. That view is totally different at night, right? We looked at day number 27 and it was this bright and this building. And now you guys know what's on the other side of that dark window. <laughs> day number 28, I'm out. <laughs>